Precious family, my name is Queen Lit and I'm a gospel minister. You are blessed for being here. Make sure you share this video. Let it go everywhere because I am here to deliver this vital information to the world. You are blessed for doing that. Now, let me tell you something. Even as this world, this earth remains, seed time and harvest time will never pass away. Day and night will never pass away. So we wake up every morning, every evening, every afternoon and see things and hear things. And most of those things we hear, spirits are backing them. They are having spiritual implications. Most are not ordinary like the way you see it. Yes, this lady is trending. She's everywhere. Okay, Kelly Buddy is her name. And the guys are saying she looks so beautiful. She's having a very nice figure, beautiful breasts, beautiful buttocks, and she's everywhere. And the ladies don't understand. They are saying, what is it that she's having that we are not having? You are trending her everywhere. Okay, let me tell you something. Now, I don't want to go deep into beats as much as spirits are concerned. Some people wear beads on their hand. It is, it is normal. Some queen mothers, they also wear it on their legs. But beads under normal circumstances are supposed to be worn under our dresses and not on our dresses. So what these people are doing, there are spirits attached to it. She wears beads on her dresses and beads are supposed to be worn under our dress. This girl is having similarities with um, Cora Obidi. Okay, they all wear beads on their dresses. If you see somebody wearing beads, on her dress in an open space somewhere that everybody will see okay the whole world will see it is not ordinary there are spirits attached to it it is a spiritual thing that that person is exercising get to know this today you can confirm from them if they sleep they have dreams having sex with people in their dreams this kind of things it attracts a, a spirit. You invoke them into your life. You embrace them. You ask them to come to your dwelling place. They love it. So if they see it, they come and stay with you and they can give you everything, including trending. So what they are doing, they know what they are doing. So wear a bit on your dress and not under your dress. There is a spirit attached to that. It is not ordinary. I want you to understand this. Now, the other thing is, they look natural. Their figure, their breasts and buttocks, they've not touched it. They've not done any cosmetic surgery. And they, there is this thing that people don't understand. The ladies especially who are asking, why is she trending? Why is it that the guys are trending her? The originator of this earth, okay? God, the supreme God who created heaven and earth. He put some mechanisms into human beings. And one of them is natural things. The guys are beginning to know that natural things are beautiful. And this is not just a chance, okay, for them to bring this thing out just like that. It is for a reason. People are going astray. People are destroying the minds of other people. For them to think that the way God created them is no good. Now, if you see somebody wearing a designer shoe or dress, and you know that this is not original. You as human being, you stand there and say this is fake. Because you know that it is not original. So if you don't want original, how much more God who created you in his own image. God loves natural things and he loves original things. And this is what the guys have seen in the game and you are not seeing. But it is a signal that God did for the world to know that he is interested in natural things. So those of you who are confusing people to go for enhancement, that word is even wrong in the first place. It is not enhancement. Let me, let me uh, define what enhancement means. Enhancement means an increase or improvement in quality, value, or extent. Enhancement is not about destroying the originality of the, of the product or the objects. Okay? Nobody tempers with uh, his or her property. You cannot go and take somebody's property and go and change it. So you can't change god's property you are god's property you cannot change it don't temper with that changing if you go and buy ferrari okay this car and you want the car to be beautiful do you change it you maintain it you keep it you make sure you go to the washing bay and wash your car you make sure you go to your fitting shop and you change your oil all those things so you maintain it you don't change it 
But you go and change your breast. You change your buttocks because the way it is, you make it another way. You enlarge it. And this is not enhancement. Don't temper with that. If you do that, you have a big problem with God. And it has become known. So even me, Quinlet, standing here and talking about it, somebody will say, you are too spiritual and you are holier than thou and you are behaving like angel. This is what the people will be saying. But it is for your own good, okay? You are asking me, do I speak for God? I'm the ambassador of God on this earth. The Lord has called us to do this thing. So if you are here and somebody is changing your mind, that go and bleach, go and do these things, Stop it, stop it, stop it. Women, I'm talking to you. Girls, I'm talking to you. Young ladies, I'm talking to you. Don't be deceived. This is evil and don't go into it. You want to tell God that you don't love the way he created you because your breast is too small and your buttocks is too small and your stomach is too big so you don't like the way... If your stomach is too big and you are eating too much, you eat in the night, you eat in the evening, you are eating everything, drinking all kinds of sweet drinks. Please hit the gym. Stop the laziness. Don't attribute this to, to how God created you. Hit the gym and slim down and look like the way you want to look like. Because there are so many exercises that you can do to enlarge your breast and you can have even big bottles. There are exercises over there. Now, aside that, let me quote this scripture to you. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 19 verse 26, it says, Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I want you to know that God can, 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 can enlarge your bottles. God can enlarge your breasts. God can make you look like how you want to look like. If you have that faith, it is possible. There is nothing impossible with God on this earth. There is nothing impossible with God. God is able to do everything. So don't let anybody deceive you. Or you yourself, you deceive yourself. You go into the mirror and you say, Hey God, after I've had uh, five children, and then now look at the way my stomach is looking like. It is falling. I have stretch marks all over me, between my legs and then my armpits and my arms and everywhere. I can't even wear spaghetti. You are blaming God for giving you children for your body to look like this. Who sees there? It is your husband, your partner. What are you ashamed of? You stand there and you shame your own self in the mirror. And you allow other people that you know who don't have anything to do and they say they'll be talking you have stretch marks like this you have this you have this and you listen to them and you go there and do this surgery gather money do do you you gather your money every day small small money you go pack all this money you go there and do this thing you go and cause diseases sickness death for yourself okay the fat that you remove from your stomach that fat you remove from your stomach and you put at your your bottles is that where God placed it? Is that where God asked you to put it? God watched you and saw how you look like. Very slim and very tall. And he said, no, I'll not give you a, a very big uh, uh, bottles and a very big breast, okay? Because you are tall. The, somehow you can get a waist problem. God knows everything that he does. And it is perfect and beautiful. Don't try changing anything. Maintain it. Keep it. That is enhancement. It's not changing the original. It is maintaining it. Enhancing it. There are fruits and vegetables that you can even eat that can give you good color on your body. You can look good. If you are dark, it will shine. If you are fair, it will, it will glow. Okay? Those things are there. You go and bleach your body and you get pigmentation, you get rashes, you get wrinkles, black hair, black hair. So if you visit people, you have to get up early in the morning and rush and do makeup because you are shy. You have all these pimples on your face, all these dot dot masks. You are fighting it, it is not going because you bought a cream with your own money to destroy your own face, your own body. If you have already done that, go back. In fact, to go back after bleaching is not easy. The reason for which people are not stopping to, to bleach is not easy. If you bleed this your skin to get the original one, it is very difficult sometimes. It is not easy. But all is not, all hope is not gone. All is not lost. Just go back. Okay? Go back and the Lord will help you. Don't listen to what people are saying. Now listen to what the Bible says in Psalm 111, Psalm 111 verse 7. I like the message. That is the version in the Bible. He says, He manufactures truth, justice, and his products are guaranteed to last, never out of date, never 
obsolete, rust proof. Everything that God created is good. And God created you in his own image. So he created you wonderful and beautiful. Fearfully made. That is what the Bible says. So don't go about changing anything on your body. Don't listen to those people. Young girls, women, you are listening to me. Even some of the men, they even go now and enlarge their manhood. They enlarge their penis. Excuse me to say, they are doing it. All those things are not necessary. Should I use the word nonsense? It is not polite, right? Yes, they are not necessary. It is not necessary. Stop it. You are putting unnecessary pressure on, your, on yourself. Use your time to serve God. Look for God. He will give you what your heart desires. He will not shame you. He will prepare you. Those who go and do their bottles, ask them. If you go there to do this, your bottles thing, you cannot sit down for two weeks. Somebody must even go with you. You can't go alone. You go there, you pay your money, you go through all this process. Now you have to be uh, wearing some kind of uh, jacket or whatever so that everything will be in place and you have to be doing sport. If you don't do sport, all those things will come again. They will fall apart. So why did you pay that money? You pay for pain. That's just pain's sake. It will not add any value to you. Stop it. You are walking about, you know that this bottles you are carrying is not natural. It's not yours. The breast is not yours. The lips is not yours. Everything about you is not yours. And you are happy. You are simply happy. Oh God, lack of knowledge, my people perish. I pray for you that the Lord will give you insight, wisdom, knowledge for you to know that things that are not necessary, not necessary are not necessary. Just be yourself. Go to the gym exercise train look the beautiful and the smart woman you want to be and fear god live your life peacefully not because of people god bless you so much for listening to me my name is queenlet please subscribe to our channel on youtube at queenlet music the name is queenlet music and then like our page on facebook and follow the page on facebook we have so many in stock for you okay and then follow us on instagram twitter and then tiktok god bless you so much Share this video. I love you all.